Colorado Republicans. This is your chairwoman, Christy Burton Brown, back with another weekly update. Today is exactly one week before Election Day 2021. We have a number of amazing conservatives, Republicans, people who believe in freedom, who believe in the conservative principles that our party stands for, running for mayor, for city council, and for school board all across Colorado. I am so impressed with our county parties, our grassroots activists, and our, our candidates who are running these races and the people who are supporting them in their communities, walking door to door, making phone calls, doing the things that we often don't activate ourselves to do uh, until an even year election. We're doing it this year in an odd year election. Here's why that's so important. These are the people who help build our benches. These are the people who make sure that even when we live in a state like Colorado, which right now is governed and controlled by Democrats, and a nation that right now is governed and controlled by Democrats, we can still have a voice at the local levels, at the government closest to the people, at the school boards that help decide what our children are exposed to, what they are taught, what the focuses of our public schools are. We need good people sitting in these seats. So thank you for what you've done to help these people get elected. If your ballots aren't in, they need to get in. It's currently too late to mail your ballot. So you need to find a Dropbox location close to you or go to a voting center. And um, your county clerk and recorders make that information available so you can find the nearest locations to you. And please don't only make sure you get your own ballot in. Make sure your friends, your family, your neighbors, your fellow Republicans also cast a vote in this election. And you may think that every Republican you know votes in off-year elections. That's not true. There are plenty of Republicans who skip the off-year elections. And it's often because they're not sure who to vote for in these local races, because they are, you know, nonpartisan races. And we know the Democrats have never considered anything actually nonpartisan. Uh, this year, we've actually worked with a lot of our county parties to put up voter guides on our website. So you, can, you should go check that out, cologop.org colorado.org click on our voter guides see the people in your area who are republicans who are running who are committed to our values and to doing the right thing to represent the people on city council school board and as mayors in your area uh, we welcome all the phone calls to our office that have also asked who these candidates are and how to know who to vote for on the ballots um, who we can trust to uphold our principles so Get that information for yourself, but please also spread it beyond yourself. Spread it to as many people as you can. Name ID matters in local elections. We need people to know who the right people to vote for are. So without a doubt, a week before the election, local elections are key. State parties invested in local elections because they matter. This is how we build our bench. This is how we protect ourselves from an overreaching, controlling government. We get people who care in at the local levels. Um, I also want to want to give a special shout out to uh, so many people across the state who have taken it upon themselves to help host or sponsor phone bank and walking events for our local candidates. Um, a lot of our elected uh, state representatives and state senators from Douglas County uh, did that for two different weekends. Thank you to all of you who did that. I know um, Senator Smallwood, Representative Ransom, Baisley, Van Winkle, Neville, and um, Congressman Buck also helped us out with that. We had Senator Kirkmeyer doing it in Broomfield, Representative Larson doing it in Westminster. Um, our great vice chairman, Priscilla Ron, also is helping to sponsor uh, candidate days. And then our great secretary, Marilyn Harris, has been walking for candidates in her area of the state. So please know your state party is very invested in these local races. Um, we, they could not matter more. We know how much they matter this year and every year going forward. And so many of our elected people, so many county chairmen, uh, other officers, people that I'm not naming right now, thank you. Thank you for what you've done. We do see your effort, we see your work, and we really couldn't do it without you. So keep it up one more week. If you can make phone calls, if you can get the word out, please do it. These local elections matter. And I hope that in a week when I'm talking to you, we get to talk about the victories that we experienced together because we were committed to local elections as Colorado Republicans. Thank you so much.